the current situation that you're facing? Well, the current situation is every night we have at least six police cars come here and coordinate the whole parking area and nobody didn't come and explain to us why it's happening, they're just doing us what they want. When the people, the customer want to come by the, by the business and see four or five car the police no one to come because think it's problem or something different this is the best spot ever we get people from the states visiting want the local cuisine and everything and when we look we get law enforcement officers we we, we support them we like law enforcement officers but guess what what we want is for them to not be you know by us do you feel the businesses out here being targeted not i feel i know so you think they're trying to shut you down or what, what is the feeling? Yeah, like? they're trying to they're trying to shut you down. So I'm asking the people and the big the big people in charge, the governor, lieutenant, the senators, can you please help us out here at Bookman Road? We're trying to do the right thing, but if you keep harassing us, you're gonna shut us down, you're gonna kill us, and we don't want that. Welcome to Nose VI by All Away TV, I'm Emmett Prevo. We're out here on Brookman Road where there's a number of establishments who jointly feel they're being targeted by the VIPD and Department of Public Works. We're going to talk to the restaurant owners and some patrons and get their take on it. We like to express we did send an invite to the VIPD and Department of Public Works. VIPD was coming but unfortunately the chief and the deputy chief could not make it. Hopefully after this episode we'll have a follow-up episode in which they can share their point of view on what's actually taking place. But stay tuned, right here we're going to hear from the restaurant owners, the business owners, the patrons. What's happening? Why does it feel as some of the business owners and the people, the residents that are coming to support these businesses, they feel as if they're targeted. Stay tuned. Okay. Alright, we're here joined with DJ Pete. It's a Monday night out here on Bukali Brookman Road, Zinki Smith Road. Yes. Tell us the current situation that you're facing. Well, the current situation is every night we have at least six police cars come here and coordinate the whole parking area and nobody didn't come and explain to us why it's happening. They're just doing us what they want, you know, and we try to ask and the same talk to the commissioner, talk to this person, talk to that person and every time you call someone, you get no answer and you get no response. So they're just doing us what they want and we have like one, two, three, four, five businesses here and we have hardly any parking and they put guardrails down there as you can see to block us off they put up no parking signs and then the police come and give tickets and I have a business right here and I can't park right here because they say no parking sign I understand they have rules and they have regulations but at least come and tell us well why this is happening don't just come and do us what you want come and say hey Let's sit down and have a talk. Let's have a meeting and figure out what the problem is. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. They're blaming COVID and a lot of things, but guess what? We still have to eat. We still got to live. So I want to ask you directly, do you feel the businesses out here are being targeted? Not I feel, I know. So you think they're trying to shut you down or what? what is the feeling? Yeah, like? they're trying to they try and shut you down because they say they're all about small business and they are for small business, but why are you putting so much pressure on these small businesses and when I go other places, because I had to drive around and check it out, nobody else ain't getting this kind of pressure. No, y'all have been going through this for quite some time because uh, before the guardrail, there were like some huge boulders down there. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. And now there is a guardrail, and then like you said, there's a no parking, and then there's a fence here. But for the person that passes by, it seems that sometimes out here it's packed you know so for the person that's watching but i know you you told me an analogy earlier you said yeah. if you see a hundred cars and you divide it by what five businesses 25 how, how you, you, have, you, you have that? five businesses and you have a hundred cars and when you go into each of the businesses none of them pack they might have 20 25 people so i understand how it look on the street you understand but it's not necessarily that way on the inside okay you understand but i know they want the street clear up and things like that 
and I, like I say I don't have a problem if they have a problem with what, what going on but why can't we get a respect of a meeting of a sit down and say hey this is why this is happening don't just send the police them out here to harass us with no reasoning you understand and that's my problem and then you're saying when the police come they actually base the operations out there man we have why are you having six police cars in a parking just to just to guard a parking we have so much problem you have six police cars six police cars out here just giving people ticket you know i even i got tickets because i park here and i tell them it's a safety issue for me i want to be right across the street from my business when it's time to leave yeah so it's a safety thing for me but they really don't care so what i want to know is do they really care about the small businesses or they really care about the business them that have the big budgets to do whatever you know but and most important you're asking for clarification now in all fairness you want to say while arranging this interview here with mr pete mr Re reginald charles mm -hmm. we have invited virgin Isles police department and department of public works scheduling both were unable to come the chief of police tried to make his schedule to come but we still give the invitation for them to come have the conversation with the business owners and also with all of yours because we like to know what's going on because we are going through the pandemic sometimes you're all open sometimes you're closed yeah based upon the restrictions and how is the government assistance working for you what assistance you all haven't been able to take advantage of another nobody ain't come around and you know help us out and tell us hey this is what we could do for you and stuff like that and these businesses especially the kind of business we in have been the first one targeted you understand when the pandemic came down we are the first ones to close we're the last ones to open and that's all right you understand rules is rule but explain to us what's going on don't just come and hey this is just the rules i just throw it on you like that that ain't the way it's supposed to work well dj pete we thank you for taking the time we thank you for remaining strong of course we want to find out the other side of the story so we're gonna contact vipd department of public works so we can bring you the other side of the story and best wishes my brother i know you said the the team just left recently as we pulled up yeah so we didn't get them on camera but we may have some cell phone footage which we could show you yeah they've been here every night every night they will come and they do their ritual and the, the the worst part about it you might have 10 customers inside maybe five of them park on this side of the road as soon as the police come they jump in the car and they turn off they don't come back they don't want to be harassed either so if they have a reason behind of it we would like to know and how about your patrons with following the rules with massing up and entering with mass and all of that yeah we have to do that if we don't do that we're gonna get fined we're gonna get in trouble so we're getting pressure from from all over from the police we're getting pressure from health and i again i say it's a pandemic they're trying to keep us safe and i respect that but at least you know do it within reasoning okay yes this is the best spot ever we get people from the states visiting one the local cuisine and everything and when we look we get law enforcement officers we 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 support them we like law enforcement officers but guess what what we want is for them to not be you know by us you know they don't go red hook and they don't go and mess with them people out in caribbean saloon um itp all of them senior pizza Duffy's. they ain't doing that them people are being drunk out there dying what going on here you know what i'm saying this is local people who are trying to push local food we don't get visitors that come here point pleasant and we don't push that and they don't come for that local cuisine and come here to eat and have a good time and see our culture you know what i'm saying now i understand the parking situation out here but my thing is this: say if you can grant businesses licenses for these establishments local people have to come and, and support them and how we gonna support them by we parking and coming to these establishments to pick up our food so when you want to give us our ticket because we park on the side over across the road you know we in a quarter million dollar monthly paying customer you understand dying us but guess what we coming to support our local our own you understand this is ruba this is this is from bovoni days if you ain't a real bovoni man from swing the system from one end to the next you is not a bovoni man you understand and this is what we do we do come and support our own ain't no violence going on out there 
you know, gunshot going on out there. We is law abiding taxpayers. We have legal businesses that run in. Yes, we own the feed shop. Great life feed. That's us. And we the pay taxes and we the support our own. You understand? There ain't no violence going on out there. Okay? You witness, you see the law enforcement targeting folks, right? They, co they come out. They do come out. You understand? And some people that know us from back in the day, Mary Loby. You know, that's family. She grew up in Bovoni with us. And she's very understanding to what's going on. But people like Darrell and them are being by us. You understand? We ain't double parking on the road. We ain't adhering traffic. That ain't what we're doing. we coming and we pick, we supporting people like Gladys, Pete, Ruba. We're buying food from here. We're coming home to our families. That's what we're doing. We ain't, we ain't impeding traffic. That's not what we're doing. You understand? So when they want to do that and act as if like we're breaking the law, we're doing something out the way. No, that's not the intention. We come out there to support our own. Because if we don't support our own, small business won't make it. And it's a proven fact. Small businesses are what drive the economy in the Virgin Islands, not big businesses. We don't look out and we don't give back. That's what we don't do. We don't look out for each other. Good night. My name is Griselda Frias. My English is not 100%, but I try to the people understand what I want to tell. I have a business in Rodman Road. I Spanish, I Spanish culture. I doing everything street, everything good. Uh, the situation is about the business. The situation for the COVID is very difficult. Uh, I had noticed in America the president want to give you help for the business, for the business survivor and continue. But now the situation in Roman route with the police is very difficult because every day coming dif different thing to the ticket for the people parking across the street. Uh, the last week coming three times in the week, check if the people for the license registration. That's one good job, but that's no moment and that's no area for doing that. Because when the people, the customer want to come by the by the business and see four or five car the police no want to come because think it's problem or something different. It's good doing the job, but possible doing the job in the other area more a little more but not in front of the business because kill the business. It's one situation and the other situation for the parking. Now the business is very bad for the COVID and the situation for the police is more bad. The people need to work in together, the community and the police, because the people need survivor for the situation for the COVID. And that's not give you no good, no help for nobody. I understand the police need to do in the job, but the area needs support for the police, not kill the business. Because the business now is dead, dead, dead. No good. And the customer don't want to come around the area because no find no parking. And have a four business together. And have no, no have no parking. If you no have no parking, how the customer come to give you support for the business? If you the customer no give you support for the business, how the business survivor? Please, please, working together, the people for the area, no kill the business. Good evening to the people of the Virgin Islands and around the world. I'm here to let everybody know about the situation here at Brookman Road where you have these local businesses trying to make a dollar the honest way. Okay? And we are being pressured every day by local PD when it comes to the parking. We understand that there's it's deeper than what we are involved in okay and we have people coming to patronize the business the restaurants the bars legally okay and like my friend said a while ago there have never been any shooting out here you know when people drink sometimes they get a little antsy but there's never been any violence nothing out here and you have people who own in businesses where that they are being harassed daily by the local PD because of parking situations. Whereas before they could have been parking on either side of the road. And as far as I know, the law, once you park outside of the white line, you're not impeding traffic. 
and they're still being harassed, being ticketed by the police department because of whatever is going on that we don't know about, I don't think it's right and fortunate for these people who have businesses where they're paying the, the, the rent every month. And I don't think it's right that they should be harassed every day because of this. How are these people going to pay their rent if they're being harassed when people come here to buy a drink or purchase food? They are being told that they can't park here. They're being ticketed. You're going to run the customers. And then we have these businesses like the owner for this business where I patronate because I know this woman so long, okay, she's never been in problem with no one, okay, she's not here for people to like her, she's here doing the right thing, she's paying her taxes, she's paying her rent, and she's trying to make an honest dollar, and it don't make a difference where she come from, because all of we are here to try to do the right thing, which is the hardest thing in life to do, okay. And it, it, it really, 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 really pissed me off daily to know that we're being harassed every day for doing or trying to do what's right. Okay? We're trying to live in the VI. And we all know the cost of life of living in the VI is not like a lot of places. It's very high. It's not too far from New York and those big um, areas in the States. We know that. Okay, and we're trying to make an honest living. So we're asking for the public and who could help us to sort out the situation. Here it is that they, put, they had boulders on the street where people used to normally park. And would you believe they took the boulders out and put in railings to protect a fence? I mean, come on! And the fences are almost 15 feet away from the street where a, park, a car could... could, could Comfortably park and no impede no traffic. I understand if you're double parking or your vehicle is parked in the street, you need to move your vehicle and we respect that. But come on, man. How much time we gotta be having this problem every day? This has been happening for months and months and months. These businesses are not millionaires. These people are trying to make an honest living in the VI. And what in the world is going on here? What do you want us to do? You have the guys coming here, you got the females coming here to patronize the business. So I'm pleading to the people of the VI to ask the PD or the government to please release us from this struggle and this bandage that we have had here at Brookman Road. We're not, we're not going against the law. We respect the law because without law, we'll have total chaos. So I'm asking the people and the big, the big people in charge, the governor, lieutenant, the senators, can you please help us out here at Brookman Road? We're trying to do the right thing, but if you keep harassing us, you're going to shut us down, you're going to kill us, and we don't want that. Thank you for all of those who heard my message, and good evening, and God bless the VI, and I love my people. This concludes part one. As stated earlier, we invited Virgin Islands Police Department and Department of Public Works, but unfortunately, they could not make it. So we heard from the Patreon and the restaurant owners. We want to hear from the next side, and we're hoping to get that in the next episode, because we don't ever want to show one side to a story. We want to show both sides. Most important, we want to come to a solution. That's what News VI is all about. It's been Amit Provost, and it's been our pleasure bringing forward this story. Augustine and I'm a, I'm a patron, I, I patronize the owner of this business and all the business cut but I am also a business owner I have a construction firm in the VI fine finishes LLC my name Damo Welch you understand and my name is no stranger to them I the son of Eugene Welch okay I the son of Eugene Welch W-E-L-S-H my father used to work hospital and they run him out we ran him and all them with this scandal and they run him out they lock him out the office 
Oke D A M O N Lian Evanson I get four names I that real kitchen and I been here from 19 no long So me run about no bad I can tell me where I come from I grew up over only but I make something better than myself Okay and I grew up wrong that man Cut but I got seen aka Ruba Okay Zephaniah Okay Aleman Darrell rest his soul in peace I grew up wrong these man from small And we don't create nothing we grew up in the hood and we make something better ourselves. We know out there breaking no law. That's not us. We abide by the law. But don't come out there and targeting people and making it seem like as if like we're doing something malicious. That's not us. We ain't doing that. We abide by the law. We respect people in the law. We got people in high offices and law enforcement that grow up in Bovoni and we still respect them. You understand? But don't make it as if like we're doing something. No, that's not what we're doing. Okay, as a professional person, I also am a business owner. Okay, as a contributing factor, and I pay my taxes to the St. Thomas Society. That's me. As a business owner, grow up in Bovoni, raise in Bovoni, and pay my taxes. That's me. Okay? You got it. All right. Good sir, good sir.